what's happening family adrian back and listen i wanted to drop this video but first i want to say thank y'all to each and every last one of the new subs the channel is growing tremendously fast i appreciate each and every last one of y'all for continuing to rock with the channel and all of my day ones y'all know i love y'all from the bottom of my heart man and i just appreciate each and every last one of y'all for finding value in the content and for just continuing to come back and share y'all experience with me and for allowing me to share my experience with y'all. So in this video, we're gonna talk about mirroring. And I had an experience earlier today that I wanted to share with y'all because you know, I'm always doing my research for the channel, man. I'm always trying to figure out uh, uh, new topics and new ways to kind of explain to you guys what's going on out here. And so, this one is something, this was kind of an experiment because I kind of saw this happening. I, I, I saw this happening and I saw this playing out exactly the way that it did play out. So yesterday I had a guy come past, I was out in my yard and I was doing a little bit of yard work and I had a guy come past and he was like, hey, uh, you know, we're giving, giving out free quotes for solar panels. Have you ever thought about getting solar panels? And I'm like, you know what? It, it has been something that crossed my mind before. I see a lot of my neighbors going solar, and you know, um, you know, just thinking for the health of the earth, and not only that, just being able to save on a Pepco bill. Of course, I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, maybe it's a good look for you know, for uh, me to get the quote and see what happens with the with the solar panels or whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. And as I'm talking to the guy, he's like, oh yeah, well, I'm not the actual salesman. I'm not the sales rep. I'm gonna sit, send my sales manager out tomorrow. And when he said that, it just took me right back to like all my experience with narcissistic abuse. And one of the things that I learned early on is a lot of narcissists take on closer positions like in sales, uh, industries where they're like, you know, in, a, in car sales industries or something like what they're selling solar panels or any of that kind of stuff, they will send out the closer. So I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to see if the guy was mirroring me. So the first guy, he's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to send my sales manager out tomorrow. And, you know, I figured this was the closer. He was going to send out, you know, the guy. <laughs> and so that's actually, that's absolutely what happened. So today I get a knock on the door and I said, okay, I wonder if this guy is literally mirroring me or if he, you know, is genuinely just trying to sell some solar panels and he's going to be genuine with, with his pitch. So, and this is a huge tip for you guys, man. I hope you guys are listening to this one, man. Um, when you come across new people and they don't know you, they don't know your energy and they're trying to match your energy, keep switching it up. Keep switching your energy up. This is something I, that I did because I kind of foresaw him being a closer and possibly narcissistic. And when I kind of foresaw him being that, I said, okay, I'm gonna I'm give him so many different energies and I'm gonna see if he's trying to keep up with me just to see if he's actually trying to mirror me. Like, is this something that's taught in the sales industry? Or is this something that, you know, uh, like all narcissistic people just do and just by like uh, force a habit, I guess. So it was something that I, I kind of toyed with. I kind of played with it today. And I had an opportunity to kind of bring it to light and share it with you guys so what i what i mean by switching up my energy is like this okay so when he when he first approached he had this jovial attitude about himself and i noticed that he had that jovial attitude about himself so i matched that energy with him at first i was hey you know hey how you doing yeah okay cool and i'm giving him all of that and then um i saw that when I started showing him that I was intellectual, then he started using big words when he started trying to talk to me. He's like, oh yeah, you know, he, he basically he's, he's using all of these words, these unnecessary words trying to explain solar panels to me. And I'm like, okay, 
So I see now I came at him in a very respectful way. He came jovial, I came jovial. I matched his, his jovial and then I came intellectual and then he switched his whole vibe to intellectual. So I said, okay, I wanna see how far he's gonna go with this. So I laughed and joked and I'm like, ha ha, yeah, 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 yeah. And we kept on talking about the solar panels and all of that kind of stuff. And he ended up asking me like, what high school did I go to and all of that kind of stuff? And did I go to school in this area and all of that kind of stuff? And so then I gave him like the young, cool guy, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I went to such and such high school. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, I went to Blade. And, and, and the way he's talking to me, I could see he's trying to really match my energy. He's not, he's, he could care less about what high school I went to for real. He literally is just trying to feel my vibe so that he can give me that same thing back so that I can begin to trust him so that he can send me these solar panels. So then I said, okay, I want to see if he's serious, like if he's seriously mirroring me like this, is he seriously like um, just like watching what I'm doing and mimicking right back. So I said, okay. So now I went from jovial to intellectual to um you know basically kind of passive because i didn't it was some things in his presentation that i had a little bit of hesitation on and then it went to like the whole high school thing so it went to like okay the cool young guy then i turned it like to gangster like i started like i added a little bit of cussing into like man yeah man i don't i don't give a shit about all that you know what i'm saying and i wanted to see if he was gonna match my energy i didn't do it to be disrespectful to him i just wanted to actually see if he was gonna like match that energy back and sure enough he came back was like yeah you don't want you don't care about that shit you know what i'm saying and this guy had never cursed he never said no nothing about no cuss words or nothing like that um until i did you know what i'm saying and he never you know talked with like this gangster persona or nothing like that until i did so then that's when i started noticing i said okay this dude really is actually mirroring me he's he's like anything any vibe that i give him He's gonna to try to match it. So if I give him the cool guy, he's gonna give me the cool guy. If I give him the gangster, he's gonna give me the gangster. If I give him the intellectual, he's gonna give me the intellectual. So it's like, man, you gotta watch people that move like that. Like watch people that is in your face and they watching how you move. And one, like I said, one of the ways that you can tell is just keep switching your energy up. Keep switching in. Like I was so surprised at the fact that this dude went from gangster to intellect to you know uh <laughs> to to professional to this to that he jumped through so many different characters trying to keep up with me and didn't even realize that i just had his ticket i, I had already had his number and it was just the fact that it wasn't even necessarily that you know I knew for sure like he was narcissistic or that I felt like he was a narcissist. No, nah, I wasn't even saying, and, and still at this moment, I'm not saying that he's narcissistic at all. I'm saying that you gotta watch these people that's mirroring you because a lot of these people are doing it to, as a means to an end, basically. So they're, they're looking to match your same energy. Like if you come in and you real nice, they're gonna be real nice. If you show, if you a little standoffish, they gonna show you standoffish too. They, you know what I'm saying? It's like when people are, are literally trying to mimic and match your energy, it shows like that false self. It shows that this isn't this person that they're presenting themselves to be. They will be whoever I need them to be to get whatever it is that they're trying to get out of me at this point. So I just wanted to drop that video on y'all real quick because it's something that I noticed in my own personal experience today that it's people out here that will liter literally mimic every little thing that you do to gain your trust. Like that's what narcissists do. That's what, you know what I'm saying? And I just was able to apply it outside of a intimate relationship today i was able to see it and i was like man I, like i really want to see if this dude is mirroring me i really want to see if this dude is going to like 
if he's going to try to just match all my energy. And so, man, I just wanted to drop that tip on y'all real quick. Like, if you are in conversation with somebody that you feel like is trying to mirror you, keep switching your energy. Go from hot to cold. Go from, uh, go from high to low, you know what I'm saying? And see if they, like, if somebody comes in and they're full of energy and then you come in and you're, like, down on energy, and then they come in and they try to match that down energy and then you shoot back up and like, hell no, everything's good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you like just keep switching up your energy in in the middle of conversations and watch people try to keep up with you. A lot of these people, they don't have a mind of their own, so they just trying to keep up and mimic everything that you're doing. And that's one of the things that I noticed today. This guy was literally no matter like wherever I steered the conversation, he would have followed me and he would have uh, tried to mimic any energy that I gave him. And I gave him so, I gave at least 10 different energies and on purpose, I gave 10 different energies in less than five minutes just to see if he was gonna keep switching and switching and switching and switching. So that's just a, a, a quick tip on how to figure out if somebody is mirroring you if you feel like somebody is trying to mirror you or trying to, you know, uh, manipulate you in any type of way, and you see this red flag right here, like, keep switching your energy up and down, back and forth, just that and the third, and see if they trying to keep up with it, see if they trying to follow it. If they trying to follow it, they definitely be trying to mirror you and trying to figure out, you know, a way to basically getting a, a, a chink in your arm to, to gain your trust so they can take advantage of you in a later fashion so that's uh all i had to say on that man salute to the entire family i'm gonna talk to y'all in a minute and i'll be back